What's shaking? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. So, I'm not really known on Orthotube for, <laughs> for like being a vlogging guy. Set up. So it's already obvious that <laughs> I don't really do this a lot. So, I don't really vlog. Um, I've just never considered my life like interesting enough to put on film outside of the regular videos I do. But I wanted to try it. I wanted to give it a go and I don't know. Just give you a little peek into, I suppose, how one of my days might look if I'm actually getting some writing done. I said at the start of the year that I didn't just want my videos to be just me sitting in that room talking to the camera and pretty much for the year so far that's all they have been so I wanted to get out and prove that, <laughs> prove that I'm a real person, you know, prove that I can actually interact with the world around me. I don't know, this might come off as a little bit rough, but give me a break, this is my first try. Here it is, the first of hopefully many uh, writing vlogs. How do they, how do they do the transitions? They like, they go, Bleh. oh shit, hang on. What a beautiful sunny day. The storm knocked all my lemons off the tree. Bruh. God damn. Wake up, Potter. We're going to the zoo. God damn, I look cute. Smile. You know, something I've been thinking about quite a lot recently is that if everything goes to plan this year, I will technically have five books out. Or maybe more appropriately, I should say I'll have five stories out. As of right now, I only have two. Um, there's Local Haunts, which is the horror anthology made up entirely of like... Uh, people in the YouTube community. I have a short story in that one, and then there is also my psychological horror novel, uh, Welcome Descent, which I released in like January, so like, that was like six months ago now. So yeah, as of right now, there's a short story I have published and a novel, but by the end of the year, if everything goes to plan, I'll also have uh, two more stories in two separate anthologies, and also my own collection of horror short stories. <clears throat> so there's the anthology of horror short stories that I myself am, like, collating and managing. Uh, that one's called We Are Not Home. I've talked about it quite a lot recently, so you probably already know about that. Basically about 13 to 14 short stories, horror short stories, from people on YouTube, YouTubers, who have written these. And all of those horror short stories are around the theme of vacations or holidays or travel or being in an unfamiliar place. And then there's also the second horror tube anthology uh, as a sequel to this one, which was done by Regina from Regina's Haunted Library. There's a second one to this coming out called Served Cold, which is much the same thing. It's a collection of horror short stories around the theme of like cold, so like snow or winter or you know anything like that and then the last one is my own collection of horror short stories that i've been working on since like last year that i'm really excited about and there's no particular theme with that one but i gotta say i'm really excited to finish it because i think some of the short stories in that one are just i if i can be if i can be so bold i think they're actually really cool but yeah that's what i've got going on what about you Hey, ugly. Ugly. Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. But, you know, watch your mouth. Hey, Kate Kavanaugh made Twitch partner. Let's go! Nice work, Kate. So I know I've been talking for a very long time about finishing that collection of horror short stories. I keep saying I'm stuck on two of the... on finishing two of the stories, which is true. Um, but just to prove to you that I have done quite a lot of work on it, I want to show you something. So this is the uh, this is the folder with all of the drafts for the stories that I've finished in there. These are all short stories for the collection that I've actually finished uh, writing. They're just drafts, so I do need to go over them again. And these aren't the actual titles; they're just like placeholders I've put in there. But 
Uh, yeah, look, that's quite a few. How many is that? So that's 10 of them, and I have about two more I want to finish. So in total, it's looking like there's going to be about uh, you know, 12 or 13 stories total, which I think is a pretty good number of short stories for an end. Uh, not an anthology, sorry, a, a short story collection. I used to call it an anthology before I found out that apparently anthologies are only if there are different authors involved. I figured I would go to the shops and grab some snacks because I'm doing a live stream over on Twitch tonight and like doing some writing sprints, that kind of stuff. I'm actually really excited because I plan on doing a lot more like streams uh, in future. I've been saying for a long time that I want to do like a lot more streams on Twitch. Like I have a weekly live stream with writing sprints on YouTube, which I also stream the Twitch, but I want to have like three to four streams a week exclusively on Twitch as well. Uh, you know, doing writing sprints, just chatting about writing or pretty much anything actually, just just like hanging out with other uh, people. I've got a lot of really, really fun stuff planned for that, so I'm pretty excited. But in the meantime, I wanna make sure I have something to snack on, so I'm gonna mask up, go to the shops, get the goods, let's do it. Pencils down, everyone. That is the end of the end of the writing session. Pencils down, please. Titus laugh. How good is it though? Fuck, it's like really late. I probably shouldn't do that. Just finished my second live stream for the week over on Twitch. Such a blast, so much fun. That was technically the first ever live stream I've done exclusively on Twitch. All of the other live streams I've done have been on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but that was my first like official Twitch live stream. To, I, I'm a Twitch, I'm, I'm a Twitcher now, guys. No, it was, it was really, really fun. I had a blast. Um, I had a lot more people than I was expecting. I used to have like an average of like two to three people on the stream at any one time. Now it's averaging around 25 people. It's just, it's crazy. And um, it's a lot of fun. Everyone in the stream that's chatting in the chat gets their own little like avatar that they can dress however they want with coins and like all this cool stuff like that. Like we do the writing sprints and we still try to get stuff done, but there's a whole lot of other social, social stuff that we do as well. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm just having such a good time with it. I'm really excited for my next uh, stream over on Twitch, which is in a couple of days, uh, which isn't writing sprints, so it's, it's literally just chatting. I'm calling it the Writer's Coffee Club because I'm gonna be doing it every week. And there aren't really a whole lot of uh, writers on Twitch that I've found, like people doing writing sprints on Twitch. There's not a lot of them, but that's the plan. I'm looking forward to it. With tonight's stream, uh, after it ended, I did a raid on this guy called Timber Anu, or the channel, the Twitch channel is called Timber Anu. It's this really, really like nice guy called Clint over in East England, and he does like wood carvings, which is one of my just favorite things to watch when I'm winding down. I like watching people carve things from wood. Uh, there's Clint from Timber Anu that I like watching. I also like watching uh, Brox from New Zealand. He does big wood carvings as well. But we did a raid on Clint and uh, that was a lot of fun as well. We chatted with him for a while, but I should probably try and make an actual YouTube, <laughs> YouTube video now, I guess. I think that'll do it for today guys uh thanks for watching let me know how your writing's going let me know what you're working on i hope this was a <laughs> i hope this was like at least mildly entertaining as far as writing logs go keep in mind this is like this is my first one um but yeah i hope it was fun at least seeing a little bit more of me outside of that room follow me over on twitch so i can talk to you soon i think actually tomorrow for me and thank you for watching the video's over now so go get some writing done catch ya